はいはいはいはいはいはいはい。Okay. So, what we have here is a beautiful or matin chameleon. Chameleon? Chameleon. Let's go with chameleon.、Um, beautiful frame. A、uh, little bit of hype around it now. I want to say a huge thanks to Stephen、um, with our matin for sending this over. Not with our matin. A huge thanks to Stephen, anyway. I just wanted to do a little,、um, a little unboxing, unpacking, maybe, and a little build. See what happens. Ah, that's a good little view. Okay, let's go.、Uh, okay, this is the main bit. Nice finish it's got on it. I don't know if you can see that. That is is very high quality carbon, you can tell. Tiny bit of flex in it, but that's exactly what you want. A tiny little bit of flex. A little bit of fingering. Oh, my hand. Yeah, nice little frame that.、Uh, let's see what we've got in this bag here. Cheeky little sticker. So here we go. I'm so grateful for Stephen.、Um, my friend Stephen, who I met in Hawaii, for sending this over. He asked me which one I wanted. Obviously, the pink one. <laughs> And it looks unique. <laughs> it does look good. So that's a bit of carbon, a bit of a frame. Hardware. Yep, yep, yep. These are good. Let's have a look at these. Very nice. A matten gives a warranty for the lifetime of the frame,、um, including all these hardware bits. And yeah, they're really nicely made. Very nice indeed. The frame itself is beautiful. One piece. I know some people aren't really fans of a one piece, but to be honest, for a freestyle quad where I don't have to change an arm in a field, I mean, it's fully warranted. It just it saves, it saves a lot of weight. It makes sense to be a freestyle quad.、Um, it makes sense for the frame to be a one piece, for me anyway. I don't, yeah, I'm not. In the regular habit of changing arms, so it's just not a big deal. So, this was kind of a a bit of a no brainer. Anyway, let's um let's see if we can build it. I guess the real beauty of this frame, from a, from the feeling, that, from the handling point of view, is is going to be the low centre of gravity. I think that short stack, battery centre, a bit more on the on the motor line. Yeah, I I I feel it. I feel coming from an alien. Yeah, I feel that it is more nimble. Yeah, my biggest feeling. The, when flying, everything feels a bit tighter, a bit, a bit more, a bit more. I don't want to say locked in because the tune is awful. It just felt solid. It felt, yeah, I think solid. It felt strong. And I personally think, for me, maybe that's more of a psychological point of view. I know that the the, the frame has these massive bumpers on the front and. I know that's going to take a good hit, and as you'll see in a minute, it did. It took a lot of hitting.、Um, so I went out with two friends, and 
we start we ended up playing a game of quad, um, sort of challenging each other to do tricks and stuff. And I was crashing so much. Um, they were as well, but at the end of the day, I just, my mate Paul had two quads that he completely destroyed. They were aliens, um, and mate Crescent had one that was alien. So three quads were broken, and I was still flying the chameleon. That confidence of the bumper, of that, of that solid feeling, I mean, lets you or pushes you to push yourself, I think, um, knowing that it's solid enough to have a good few crashes and not have to rebuild in the field or risk not being able to fly it the same day. Um, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for me. I don't think it's essential gravity. I think that's a yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for me. I don't think it's a centre of gravity as much. Um, also, I really like the the one plate design. Um, I think it's. I think probably because my first quad was a. Well, my first DIY quad was a QAV210 Sharpoo with that single base plate that I never broke. And with the warranty on this, it's just like, it's just even more confidence that even if you do break it, like some miraculous, ridiculous crash, that yeah, it's fully warranted. I think that's, that's fantastic. And I, I, I think that's going to make me a better pilot. It's not, I'm not saying this problem would make you a better pilot. I'm saying what makes me a better pilot, I'm just saying, um, over time, the fact that I'm not, worrying about crashing as much, I think that's going to be a better pilot over time, for sure. Okay, so the last part of the video is the crash reel for a bit of proof on my durability claims. Yeah, no big, big crashes, but a lot of, I'd say, medium crashes. A bit of concrete crashing, a bit of rooftop crashing, um, and yeah, a bit of game of quad crashing at the end. I ended up on the roof. That was fun. Fun little climb. But yeah, I can't fault it. It was, it really is a bit like a tendency. Wait, 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 wait.